Have you ever wanted your RV to be a speakeasy? Let me see a form of ID. Okay, you're old enough. Welcome to the speakeasy rear bath known as the Dutchman Kodiak 26 SRB. 30 feet, 10 inches, 5,400 pounds. The reason why I say it kind of looks like a speakeasy is because of the decor, the backsplash that we have here along the rear wall of this couple's coach that just kind of feels like we've stepped back in time to a little speakeasy. I like the gray decor that they have here with the decorative black pulls. And since it is a rear bath, you are going to get a ton of storage space back here. And since it's Dutchman Kodiak, you're going to get some features and amenities that are going to make this feel like a luxury high end speakeasy. You got solid wood construction here, full extension on the drawer guides. You got hangers right here for your towels, whatever. How about a high rise bowl with the foot flush and neo angled shower with glass enclosure and skylight as well as the matte black features here. Um, and actually I like this because the vent you can just open if you need additional light uh, and you can also cut on the fan if you need to move some hot air out or when you're taking a shower just to get that moisture out. Uh, but having the Neo angle actually gives you a little bit more space because everything is angling out. That's why it's called Neo angle. Uh, you do not have a medicine cabinet. You do have the decorative mirror, but you have plenty of space back here for linens, for whatever you need. But this sink with the gray countertop to me, just matches the flow of this. That's what makes it look like a speakeasy to me. Of course, I got my oversized kind of rectangular vanity here and storage underneath. Then you step outside and it's only 30 feet, 10 inches. I got plush and comfortable Thomas Paine recliners right here with the five inch console, double cup holder, as well as my hidden storage. Large panoramic window with the blackout shade. And right here across from me is gonna be my fireplace. Now it is electric, so uh, you got multi-flame setting, uh, multi-light setting. It's roughly about 5,000 BTUs of heat. That goes really well with your high output furnace under this gorgeous, bright, upgraded linoleum flooring, the bow floor, if you will, that we have inside the 26 SRB. You also have no carpet in the slide. So the continuation of that flooring just goes into the slide. Decorative wood inlays here in my slide, as a matter of fact. But let's talk about the entertainment center for a minute. Cause sure, the 26 XRB is a rear bath, but to me, it also does a really good job for entertaining. There is that gray speakeasy countertop. Once again, whitewash barn decor on my wall and set up for solar prep on the roof. Your outlets are also already pre-wired and inverted. So get that solar panel already set up could run these off the power of the sun. You're also set up for the WineGuard 4G LTE Wi-Fi boosting. There's your cable satellite connection, another inverted outlet here, component shelf, and that beautiful fireplace. But if you need pantry space, the great thing about speakeasies, all the hidden stuff. I mean, look at that. You got the motion sensing lighting there. You got, boom, the magnet there. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, this is just a cool vibe. At first, I, I mentioned to my buddy Ryan, who's the videographer here, I said, this kind of reminds me of like a New York underground, like subway apartment. And he was like, you mean like a speakeasy? Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. 10.7 cubic foot Furion, 12 volt fridge right here. Uh, got good space. And since it is 12 volt and the acrylic front, not only does it look good and high end, uh, it'll run while going down the road because it's 12 volt. Our kitchen flows right into the front of this 30 foot 10 inch 26 SRB. Press surface countertop, rounded edges, pop-up power station with the wireless charging. Got the more continuation of that backsplash right there. Recessed three burner cooktop. I got big old storage underneath my three burner cooktop. Plus I have a pull out drawer, full extension on those drawer guides. Got great space under here. And I got my Furion microwave up there. Now the pantry space up above, I like how they put the smoky glass in here. Got the space there, your space there. I mean, just right on, got my AC up top, 13.5 on that one, giving me good air out. Oversized dinette that reduces down into a sleeper if you need it. But this right here, 
just matches the flow of that gray decor that we're seeing in here. I'm a big fan of this. It just looks, it just looks cool. I can't really say clean because in my opinion, and leave me a comment down below, please. But my opinion is the darker stuff just doesn't look, I don't want to use clean for that. Cool, maybe slate-ish, uh, but that just looks cool. It, I'm not used to, I'm used to the, to the lighter, brighter. So see in the darker, sleek. Oh, there you go, sleek. Okay, Ryan said sleek. See, he's correcting me and I like that. Still not clean. This is clean. That, dark and smoky. How about them apples? Pocket door leading into your master bedroom right here. I got windows on both sides for some cross breeze with the blackout shades. I also have another vent right here. Uh, and you got cubby space behind your queen size bed nestled in the front cap with mirrored ward storage on both sides. You got a little bit of nightstand space in the front and more in the back. Plus you got inverted outlets in the back. So if you need to run some juice off the power of the sun, you absolutely can. And when you need more space, how about strut supported storage under the bed? There we go, man. 30 feet, 10 inches, 54, 47. And get this, your tanks on this one, you got a 28 gallon fresh, 78 gallon gray tank. So you wanna take some long old showers? You absolutely can. And you got a 29 gallon black tank. Um, man, I feel like I'm in a speakeasy. Does that mean I get one of the uh, imbibements? No? All right then, then I guess we better check out the outside. Come on. Here we are on the outside of your brand new speakeasy, <laughs> Erm RV, the Dutchman Kodiak 26 SRB. Let's start right up front. Now the thing I like about what Dutchman does with the Kodiak line, they don't really skip on those camp conveniences like power tongue jack and covers for your twin 20 pound LP tanks. You'll also notice on your battery box right here, you got the bars, but you also have what's known as the giggy box. It's a great way to disconnect the battery. So if you do take advantage of that solar prep on top, you can trickle charge the battery and not drain it when it's not in use. Plus it's a weather resistant cover for all the connectors. Very nice. Powder coated single welded frame giving this coach really good support. Right there, you see that high profile of the fiberglass end cap, that one piece seamless roof. Coming down the campsite, beautiful fiberglass on the side, light, and with the white, it's gonna be heat reflective along with the 80% tint on your windows you're gonna have all the way around. Now for your storage, I wanted you to kind of see what it would look like if you put a bunch of stuff in here. So I just grabbed a bunch of random boxes and threw it in there. The space can be a little deceiving because we are 30 feet, 10 inches, 5,400 pounds, but look at the room that you have in here. I mean, there's that aluminum superstructure. It's finished off. You got your solar charge controller right there, plus your inverter prep. I mean, just all in all good space, plus magnetic anti-slam cover latches and covered hinges. Underneath, you got an enclosed underbelly, PSX-1 stabilizer jacks. This right here, the back of your tankless water heater. Got you some power as well as cable connection if you want to set up an outside TV, plug in your cell phone, whatever you want. Nice size awning with the LED light strip, steel fold up steps leading into the main entry. And you'll see right here that with this one, they call it the aluminum bear cage construction. Uh, it's really a solid frame for this coach. And the fact that you have the hyperdeck flooring, which is a polypropylene laminated fiberglass, it's gonna help with temperature, it's gonna help with moisture. And that thick foam core insulation really does a good job making this coach go deep into three seasons. External fridge, little mini dorm style fridge, four by four sewer hose storage on the back, plus spare tire. Uh, just having that is so nice. Also, get tire pressure monitoring with any RV that you get, please. Uh, set up for the back, for the uh, set up for the rear ladder mount, and you got that arch with the rain nozzles there. Uh, we even got a spray port on the back if you wanna do some cleaning, maybe uh, treat it like a outside shower. Now, right here is gonna be uh, your main terminations as well as your connections. You do have city water connection and black tank flush, and this is your 30 amp plug right here. Your main terminations down there, your black, your gray tanks, Got your slide topper on your slide. Love that because that's gonna help keep the elements off the top of your slide, as well as the critters uh, and the moisture because this is where a lot of stuff gets jammed up. If you're under a tree, you don't have a slide topper. Sometimes the branches will get caught in between the slide and the RV 
and that'll just really mess some things up. So very nice touch having that there. Your other gray tank or galley tank is right there. Other side of your pass through storage, finished off. I mean, we put a ton of stuff in there, man. We loaded this thing up. And right there, the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this coach weigh. I mean, we're looking at 30 feet, 10 inches, 54, 47, dry. I mean, for a couple that wants something that just looks unique, that's feature packed, lightweight, solid build uh, by a trusted name, uh, and the SE package means you're gonna get some features and amenities at not a feature packed price. So that's always a good thing. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about the 26 SRB? What'd you not like about it? Do you like that kind of speakeasy style, that gray interior? And also, where would you take the 26 SRB? What adventures do you hope to go on? Because I love hearing from you, it helps me. And also, click like, subscribe, and notify, because that also helps me too. Thank you for checking out the Dutchman Kodiak SE 26 SRB. I'm Christian. I'll catch you later.